everybody out there, this is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video we got episode number 16 of the No Money Spent Squad and we have a ton of free packs to open up. Season 3 just launched, Most Fear promo just launched, and we've been doing a little bit of grinding. Not a ton, but enough to drop another episode and as you know, if you've been watching this series, every Tuesday and Friday we drop episodes. So we're pre-recording one a day in advance, but the Most Fear promo just came out. And as you can see, we got 22 unopened packs to go. Let me just kind of show you what I've been doing. Haven't made a ton of progress, but we're at level 10 in the season three field pass. So we got a few packs to open up from that. And in the most fear promo, we've only made it to level three. We'll have a lot more accomplished by the time you guys see us on Tuesday for episode number 17. But I wanted to make it a point to get to these 82 plus BND most feared packs. There's one in solo challenges. You get one at level three in this field pass. You're not guaranteed a good card out of these, but a lot of people early on have been hitting 90s out of this. So I'm hoping that the no money spent account gets a little bit of luck. Also, we talk about binder trash in this series all the time, rolling cards upwards, all of those uncommon green cards that we get from midfield packs, red zone packs, free packs from solo battles and solo seasons. Well, we turned a bunch of those into 80s, I believe, in the last episode. And you know what? One of the requirements is completing most feared sets. So we took a bunch of those 80s that we assembled from Binder Trash and we were able to knock out a couple of these 82 overall fantasy packs from the most feared promo. Now, because there's different factions and chemistries that you can use, I'm actually not gonna make my selections within those packs just yet. So I just wanted to show you guys that, like I say all the time, I wanna show you literally everything that I do, or at least tell you everything that I do in this series to maintain and build this account. So the majority of the video is gonna be me opening up a bunch of free packs that we earned. Some of these we're gonna skip because they're just simply not worth it uh but again we had the season three field pass go live we're no money spent over here so we're not going to be able to get the premium version of this field pass i definitely recommend it for the 15 dollars. it's absolutely worth it but early on we have an 84 overall player to choose the bad thing here, and I think we have enough tickets to upgrade one to a 90. The only problem is because we're capped at a 90, these cards really don't get like really good until they hit that 91 overall level. And I don't think we're going to be able to make that selection for another two to three weeks. But you already know the welcome pack pick is going to be Brian Dawkins. We got an Eagle Steam team on this account. So he's going to start at an 84, but we already have the 85 overall upgrade token from the welcome pack as well. And I could be wrong, I might be getting it confused with my main account, but I think I may have already unlocked the 86 overall upgrade token when I hit level 10. So we are gonna be able to take Brian Dawkins up to an 86 right away. And no, I lied. I think I was getting it confused with my main account. We actually have another 84 overall fantasy pack and another 85 overall token, so we can take two of the five players up to an 85 OVR, but we also have a handful of season tickets from season two that converted over to season three. So if I want to, I think as early as today in this episode, I can actually upgrade Brian Dawkins to the 90 OVR, and we might just do that. My second option is gonna be Martellus Bennett right now at tight end. We have Dalton Kincaid over there. I wanna sell that card. I won't get a ton of coins back from him, but I really do like this Martellus Bennett card because he's a good route runner. He's tall, he's fast, and he he has really good run blocking. Not that I run the ball a ton or the run is overpowered in this year's game, but that's the route that I'm going to go so I can get rid of that Dalton Kincaid and make a little bit of coin. That'll definitely put us over that million coin mark. Let's get this 70 plus overall pack out of the way. Not expecting anything good. I'm sure it's just going to be, come on, maybe we get a full legend. Oh, never mind. We got gaffled there. So nothing good out of this pack, but we'll be able to turn this binder trash into something eventually. Uh, some of these packs, like I said, I'm not even going to bother opening in this video. I have been playing solo seasons we are now currently i'm pretty sure 25 and 0 in solo seasons and getting to that 25 win mark gave us three more midfield packs and a hail mary pack but i don't want to waste any more time here i want to go to these 82 plus most feared packs and see if we can get a 90 out of one of these like a lot of people in the community have been doing. If you opened up these, let me know in the comments section what you got out of them. Did you have any luck? Let me know. Here we go. Come on. This is, I mean, this is the account. I don't know if that's a good animation or not. Honestly, look at that. We got a 90 overall Tom Brady. I think that was a good animation. It looked a lot slower than the normal one. So big W there. He's got to be QB1, right? He's dirt slow, but I'm just not going to pass on a free card like that. And you know what? Eventually, if we don't want it, we can quick sell it 
for 9,195 fear, which we can use in the fear store to maybe make some other upgrades down the road. Now we got one more of these packs to open up. Like I said, one in solo challenges, one in the field pass. If we can go back to back 90s on this account, we wanna see that slower animation. That would be wonderful. Just don't give us the same exact player. That animation was a lot quicker. So we knew that we weren't getting anything good there. We get an 82 overall card. We will definitely be quick selling this one for fear. We don't get a ton of it, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. And now kind of thinking about it here, those 82 overall fantasy packs that we unlocked from the sets that we were really just doing to get objectives, I might actually quick sell all three of the cards I picked from here for more fear because there's a lot of ways that we can spend that, including a 90 overall BND. We can use that to upgrade Landon Dickerson over at left guard, which would fit our theme team. So we're gonna kind of ponder on those packs, but I'm definitely happy with that 90 overall Tom Brady. That means we can get rid of Michael Penix at QB number one as well. So that red zone pack, or was that a Hell Mary pack, had nothing in it. Midfield packs haven't been bad because we get you know a handful of like 80s, 81s, and 82s. This pack gives us one 82. That's good binder trash. We can use that down the road there to maybe build more uh, build more most feared cards. We get an 83 overall George Kittle. Again, these cards aren't going to sell for a lot, but these con the content in these packs... Okay, I accidentally opened up the wrong pack. No, I didn't. That was a midfield pack, but they gave me a most feared card in it. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and quick sell that one and just take the fear. Now, yesterday, when this promo dropped, I put out a very long video, 26-minute video, basically breaking down this entire promo and the welcome packs were bugged out. At the time that I'm recording, they still might be. I also don't really know what player I actually wanna choose, so I'm not gonna open up these welcome packs. We can go out and still earn those upgrade tokens and just use them on the player that we choose later on. You don't have to open up and select these. Uh, the Sinister Selection Pack, I actually got two of these. I think one was accidental because they sent them out before the promo came out. And then after the promo came out, because some people opened them prematurely, uh, they contain nothing in them. So they sent them out again. And for the tickets, these will allow us entry into the draft game mode free. So we get two entries right here uh, where we can win additional rewards. So we're definitely going to try that out on this account because we don't even have to use our normal team to go out there and play. So that's helpful. But I'm gonna, just going to knock out these rare option packs. I said in the last video, and I think that was another place that I got a bunch of 80 overall cards from. The value recruitment pack, to me, even at the 76 plus option, is definitely the move here. So I got an 83 overall platinum card in one of these on my main account. The second time around I opened it, I mean, we got a season of boom here. Can it be a, I was gonna say, can we get an elite here one? But the second time I opened up one of these packs on my main account, I got a couple like 79 overall platinum cards. This time around, we just get 182 overall, but I absolutely think these are a better route than the boomer bust. The boomer bust just seems to be more bust than boom, whereas the value recruitment seems to always give me at least one elite card or one platinum card, and you get, you know, four or five cards, I think five cards total in the pack. There's just, you know, there's more, look at that. We're going to get a Redux here. Give me an 87, 88. Look at that. We got an 87 overall Redux in a 76 plus value recruitment pack. We are, you know what? I, I might keep this to build the most feared set down the road. Or do we sell it for about 120K? That's a bit of a tough decision. Coin is king here, but I wouldn't mind adding some of the brand new promo players to the squad. I think I'm going to go ahead and sell it mainly because I'm not going to be around for a couple days. And these cards are going to gradually get cheaper over time. The part one cards, obviously when part two comes out, the part one cards are going to get a little bit cheaper. So there we go. Value recruitment packs are the move. Uh, we're not going to open up the welcome pack. The angry runs one doesn't really matter. We'll save the coin packs for, you know, a bigger pack opening. And again, I think I'm just going to open up all three of these 82 overall cards and quick sell them for fear. Next order of business, we're going to spend the 4,680 season three tickets that we have. And I don't think we'll have to spend all of them but we're gonna go ahead and buy the 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90 overall upgrade tokens to use on Brian Dawkins, and we're gonna fully max him out to the 90 OVR. He's gonna be one of our two strong safeties that we throw on the field. Like I said a moment ago, there is a pretty big difference from them at a 90 OVR level, and this is all of the season three cards versus 91, and you know, this card's gonna be good enough for this team 
but really the move if you have a decent team and you have a little bit of patience here if you have a bad team and you need help go this route but whenever we get the 91 overall upgrade token and i think it's going to be after the most feared promo ends so basically like three weeks from now when that 91 overall upgrade token gets put into the store all of these will be costing less tickets so if you can hold off for three weeks here you can save yourself a ton of season three tickets when you go through and purchase all of the other upgrade tokens also that's going to allow you some time to go through the field pass and earn some of these tokens for free rather than spending tickets and the more tickets that you can save now the more you can carry over to season four and season five and season six so i'm going this route because i need help at that position and brian dawkins fits my theme team but on my main account where i don't really need to rush to upgrade those cards I might wait until that 91 ticket or token gets entered in there so we can save tickets when we have to go through and purchase all of these. So let's talk about all the moves that were made to the roster after these packs and everything that we did in the store. Number one, starting strong safety. He's going to play high safety, play in coverage. We got Brian Dawkins. This is what he looks like at the 90 OVR level with a 20 Eagles steam team. We get him up to 88 speed, so that's good enough to throw on the field, obviously. I wish the man coverage was a little bit higher, but I do have a strategy item that gives you plus two to man coverage to your safety, so that's certainly going to help. 91 hit power, 89 zone will be all good. So he's going to play high safety. Along with the new content today came the downgrade to the Red Iron Guardians card. So Kyle Hamilton was once a 94 overall card for us. He drops down to an 87, but the good thing is you can remove the energy cell upgrades from a full 95 or 94 and actually have enough of those to put in both the Kyle Hamilton and the Dallas Goddard. So when I switch over to my offense, Dallas Goddard right now at an 88, Kyle Hamilton at 87. Uh, Hamilton's going to be more of a user sub linebacker until we get that free Isaiah Simmons next week. And then after that, I probably just won't use this card, but I think 88 speed, 64, 87 zone is good enough for a user controlled card right Right now so that's what we're going to do with our safeties outside of that i don't believe yeah we didn't make any other changes I, you know i want to upgrade the secondary eventually but these three guys are getting it done i'd like to go after champ bailey so this you know the defensive side looks good but definitely could use some improvement or more improvement on the offensive side we're going to give tom brady a try listen it was a free 90 overall b and d card we might as well try him out we downgraded michael Penix, which allowed us to upgrade tyron smith to that max of 89 ovr and goddard's at an 88 overall he's basically going to be tight end one until we start to earn enough tokens and upgrades and tickets to get Martellus Bennett fully maxed out to his 90. I could probably do it right now, but I think I might wait a couple weeks like I talked about a moment ago and save myself some tickets in the long run as long as we get good production from Dallas Goddard. So offense gets some new cards, defense gets some new cards, and we got a lot in front of us. We're going to continue the season three grind. We're going to continue the most feared grind. And by the time you see me in the next episode, we'll be well over a million coins. We'll have some more free packs to open up. We're going to get back to grinding solo seasons, solo battles, because those come along with some free rewards. And we're just going to continue to hoard this brand new fear currency from this promo and hopefully go on a little bit of a shopping spree uh, come Tuesday on episode number what would it be 17 thank you guys for watching this one i'm gonna get out of here my name is popular stranger and i'm out peace